Good morning and welcome to Morning Matters. This morning we are broadcasting somewhere in the middle of the ocean. Guess why? Because we are on our way to Uruguay. This morning our guest for at least one segment will be Andy. Andy, good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good morning to yourself. Andy, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm from the UK. I live in London. I work for a talent agency. What kind of talent do you scout? Um, comedians and TV stars and sports stars. It's Is your that? lucky day. Right, okay, right. <laughs> We've got a full roster at the moment. There you go. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. What brings you to Argentina um, and by extension to Uruguay? Uh, just uh, me and a few friends are traveling around uh, Argentina for a month um, and going to spend a few days in, in Uruguay. That's how we pronounce it. But yeah. <laughs> Well, guess what? I'll tell you what Morning Matters is about okay. so we can get started. Morning Matters is a program where people text in their issues and we respond to them. We respond to them with what we term as basic common sense. Okay. Whatever you would do um, is what you would advise people to do. Okay. A lot of people send in their issues. Their issues are relationship-based, but it's not limited to relationships. Okay, okay. So let's get that out of the way. Are you in a relationship? Um, no. Have you ever been in one? Uh, yes, I have. Then you qualify. Okay. Perfect. That's right. This morning, I encourage you to email your matters to us. You can email your matters to us at morningmatters at gmail.com. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to start reading the matters that we have in here. You have any matters of your own that you want to share with me? Not that I want to share, but I do have many <laughs> matters. But <laughs> Not even one, Andy? Come on. Um, possibly. Let's see what yours are like first. Uh, They're really not mine. I mean, okay, mine are okay. personal and quiet. Nobody knows they exist. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what you have to hand and then let's see if mine fits or then. I have a girlfriend. We yeah. share two children together. We're together for 22 years. Mm. I asked her to marry me and she turned me down. She thought that I was joking. Now we live like brothers and sisters in our relationship and I am not happy. What should I do? Well, I think that marriage is an old-fashioned institution, so they should just forget about the marriage. And if they're living together and have children, that's kind of a, more of a commitment than marriage itself, I think. But what is important to... Isn't it important to a person, his or her values? Yes, but if your partner doesn't want to marry, then, then what's the point? I mean, then must you put aside your belief because your partner thinks, maybe like you do, that it's an old-fashioned institution? Yeah, I, th I, well, I think I would get married. Uh, I don't want to ever get married, but if, if my girlfriend, if she was, if it was very, very important to her and I wanted to be with her forever, then I, I would get married, but I don't see the point of it anymore. It seems, it seems just a bit of paper now. Sorry. Well, this man, it's important to him. He yeah. wants to be married to his woman, but she refuses. What would you suggest that he does? Well, what can he do? He's got, he's got two children. Um, he's not going to go, I'm sorry, you don't want to marry me. I'm, I'm leaving. So he's kind Maybe of... he might. That's an option as well. I think he's stuck with it. He's got to keep persuading her. But if, if she still says no, then just... Just get with that, it? That's tough, yeah. That, that's your lot. Okie dokie. <laughs> This one says, I am married for over 40 years. Mm. I only had two witnesses and four friends at my marriage, and we're still together. What I'm trying to say is that a big wedding doesn't make sense. If you can't afford it, then just live the life that you have and be happy with it. Well, well this, this person should talk to the person from the previous question, I think. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's, there's your solution. Um, uh, yeah, I think if you're going to get married, do it properly. Um, have a big party. Um, Otherwise, I mean, for me, again, as it's an old-fashioned institution, for me, it's more about gathering all my friends and family, family together and, uh, and, and expressing your love. But if it's a horrible, like, but registry office and a pub dinner afterwards, then, then don't, bother. don't bother. But then, no. Andy, don't you think that when people get into relationships, the first thing they should discuss is their values, their mm. morals and their values? And if they had done this, then he would have known 20 years ago or 22 years ago that this woman's intention was never to marry him. Mm -hmm. But because maybe he failed, himself at that time that is the result of him failing himself now but 20 years though 20 years of togetherness is worth more than any party and any I marriage. hear you and that is our opinion but he has lived it but he shut his mouth for so long that he's waited too long to convince her or to have known what his real options are but why doesn't she want to marry then what maybe she believes like you do it's mm. an old-fashioned institution and it only comes with paper and pen but then if they've been together for 20 years and she still won't do that for him then she's a very selfish person perhaps and he should leave her I am 21 and my girl and we are engaged. Yeah. We've been together for three years, but I still find myself sexting with other girls. How yeah. can I stop this? Um, that's a tough one. If, um, <laughs> if, if, if your lover isn't providing all the, your sexual requirements, then I think you need to discuss an open relationship or end the relationship. Because in the end, if you're not 
satisfied sexually, then it, it's going to cause problems in the long run, no matter how you try to suppress it. If you're 21 years old and you feel the need to do those childish things, yeah. then maybe you are not ready for a committed relationship. Well, I'm 33 and I'm still doing those childish things. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. You know, you know where you're coming from. But guess what? You're not in a, you're not trying to trick a girl into thinking that you're committed to her. You want to do those things, and you're entitled to that if yeah. you're not in a relationship. Yes, yes. When you move into a relationship, your duty should be to be a little bit more open and fair to yourself mm -hmm. and also to your partner. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. This one says, hmm, hmm. Oh, I have a problem or a question. Why is it that all my girlfriends keep leaving me? That's it, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> that could be a myriad of things. Um, this guy. Um, <laughs> I think the problem is you. There yeah. has to, if he's the only constant. I think that the reason women keep leaving him is because he keeps asking these very open-ended questions <laughs> that people are expected to know the answer to, and it gets quite irritating after a while. <laughs> I am with this man for two years now he lost his job a couple of months ago and he decided that he's not going to spend christmas with me because he can no longer contribute to our home i don't think that it is fair to me there's a lot of depressed people in belize aren't there i think well but they're really not only in belize oh, okay, we well, right, to the right. caribbean okay right so um so what's the question again the, the man lost his job and because he lost his job he doesn't know he doesn't want to spend Christmas with her, but she feels that it's unfair that he doesn't want to spend Christmas with her. Oh, that's very sad. Um, and he can't afford to, to buy presents for everyone at Christmas. But ultimately, Christmas is about family and being together. So I think if his family loves him, they would understand that and just want him to be present and give people an orange rather than a computer or something. There you go. Yeah. But I think what is also important that she has to realize that it's not about her. This is a time for her to support him. Yes, definitely. And support her emotionally and, and, and physically because it seemed that he was always the one to contribute financially and now he can't so it makes him feel a little bit funny but if she was to just reach out and give him like you said an orange he might yep. feel good yeah i agree 100 percent. okay okay let's move on to the next one. Oh, this must be for you andy okay it says i like you which church do you go which church do i go to um the, the church of david ike <laughs> but um <laughs> No, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not religious, I'm agnostic, so I don't go to church. Okay. Sorry. That, that invalidates all my previous <laughs> answers, doesn't it, with your audience, I think. This one says, I have a wife and a sweetheart. I don't know if you know what sweetheart yes, is. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And a sweetheart. Both of them treat me well. What should I do? Um, well, he shouldn't have been messing around with the sweetheart in the first place, I think. Um, and if, if he, that's obvious. If he has stronger feelings for the sweetheart, then he needs to leave his wife. But... Who's to say you won't have another sweetheart two years down the line with that second one, so... I think if you find trouble with your wife and your sweetheart, maybe you shouldn't be with any of them. Because when you are truly in love, in my short experience in yep. this life, nothing or nobody else matters. Yep. And you, are, you don't try to offend that person, you don't try to cheat on them, you don't try to lie to them. Yep. So once you find yourself in that, pill, in that place, it's because that's, you're not supposed to be there. I hear you, sister, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Morning. I live in with this man for 23 years yeah. and he tells me to get out of his house because he now wants to live there with the mother of his children. What am I to do? Hang on. He's, he's kicking, he says, hang on. He's kicking his girlfriend out to... Hang on, say that again. I didn't catch that. They've been together for 23 years. Yeah. And he says, excuse me, man, yeah. it's time for you to go because I have another woman I want to bring in the house. Wow. Uh, does, she have, does she own the house? Is, does she have, she the laws in Belize are common law after five years. Once okay. you live in the same house for five years, providing nobody is legally married to somebody else. So, if this man is legally married, never got a divorce after 23 years, he can kick her out. If he's single, he can't kick her out. And if she's single and they've been sharing the same space for 23 years. He can't kick her out. Okay. So he shouldn't be able to kick her out. No, but why does she want to stay with a, another family when she doesn't feel loved? She but just... she is entitled to the home, or a portion of the home. Well, she... So he can take the woman and go somewhere else, but he can't bring her there. Yeah, okay, well that's straightforward. Just just yeah. go get a court case and get her share of the house. And, then, and let yeah. it... She should not leave the house. If she leaves the house, she's given up her rights. Yes, yeah. She must stay in the house and say to him, if he wants to go, he's free to go. But here she can't come. Yeah, yeah. And the Morning Matters, this segment of Morning Matters is winding down. Anything you'd want to leave me with? No, I've had a wonderful experience. Thank you for Thank inviting you so me on much Morning for Matters. Thank you okay. this morning. Guys, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll be coming back with more. 
whichever suits you better. Grace Coconut Milk is your best choice for taste. Good as homemade, only more convenient. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Whether it's your life you're trying to sweeten or someone else's, make it Moho Chocolate. At Moho Chocolate, we produce the finest quality chocolate. All the cocoa used by Moho Chocolate is sourced from over 120 farmers from southern Belize. We produce chocolate bars, chocolate truffles, mini chocolate squares in several flavors, and organic cocoa powder. We also have gift baskets. The next time you eat chocolate, make sure it's Moho Chocolate. Visit us at any of our three locations in Tourism Village in Belize City, in San Pedro, or in the Departure Lounge at the International Airport. When you think chocolate, think Moho Chocolate. Build your future with Belize's leading development finance institution, DFC. We finance development projects in sectors of education, housing, agriculture and agro-processing, manufacturing, tourism, small and micro-enterprise, and much more all at affordable interest rates and flexible repayment terms. We also offer free in-house property valuations, free sound financial and technical guidance for projects, affordable building and life insurance coverage under DFC's group insurance scheme and more. So what are you waiting for? Take advantage of DFC's efficient delivery of loans and related services and get a step closer to building your future. Visit any of our nearest offices for additional information or call us at 822-2350 or 822-2360. DFC, Realizing Belizean Dreams, your partner in development. Marie Sharp's Fine Foods. You've come a long way, lady. A true Belizean original for over 30 years. Winner of many prestigious awards, such as the Food and Beverage Food Award from the Anuga Food Show in Germany, the Fiery Food Show, and many others. From Belize to China and Japan, from Germany and the UK to the USA, you can choose with confidence your favorite Marie Sharp's red and green hot habanero pepper sauces. How about our just juicy fruit juices? Marie Sharp's jams, jellies, exotic tamarind based steak sauce. Belizean seasonal, green mango chutney, snacks, as well as our popular red and green pepper jellies. All mouth-watering, all delicious, all natural and free of sodium benzoate preservatives. And HACCP certified. Marie Sharp Fine Foods, proud products of Belize. <laughs> From the company who brought you Buendia freeze-dried coffee, Grace 100% pure Colombian coffee is made in Colombia. Considered among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze-dried, Gries 100% pure Colombian coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with Gries. Recipes go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chilled cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule, excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information.
With the high cost of fuel these days, every fill-up can be a curiously scary experience. Rising gas prices have transformed to the point where it feels like it can cost you the shirt off your back. That's why we created Lucas Fuel Saving Motor Oils. Their special additives increase compression and minimize friction, improving fuel mileage. With Lucas, you'll keep from losing your shirt, or even worse. When you think of the largest selection of sporting goods, you must think of Midway Limited. Musical instruments, Midway Limited. The largest selection of guitar strings, Midway Limited. At Midway Limited, you get high quality soccer boots, footballs, basketballs, billiards, mixing boards, guitars, violins, drums, tennis rackets, fishing poles, and a wide assortment of electronics. Midway Limited is the authorized dealers for Martin & Company, JBL Speakers, and Roland Instruments in Belize. Midway Limited, it's your one-stop shop for electrical, musical, and sporting equipment. Visit Midway Limited on Center Road in Spanish Lookout or give us a call at 823-0095. and welcome back to Morning Matters. We are on our way to Uruguay. Guess what? Before you met Cassidy, which is Drew's daughter, you've met Drew, and now you're meeting Drew's son, Keaton. Keaton, good morning, how are you? Good morning, Ron, I'm wonderful, how are you? Excellent. Good. Tell me what brings you to Argentina first. Argentina, I'm taking a class down here in Buenos Aires, actually. It's through DePaul University. It is uh, doing business and emerging markets. It's a law class taught at uh, Universidad Catalogia, the, the Catholic University in Buenos Aires. Excellent. Uh, how do you like it? I like it very much so far. It's good. Why would somebody leave America? Be I mean, I say this because people in my country leave home to go to America to study. Right, right. People in America leave America, like yourself, to come to places like Argentina. Why right. do you choose Argentina? Well, I, th I think temporarily people leave the United States to, to get exposure to other countries, to kind of get out of the box, get out of their comfort zone, learn other languages. I think that's the primary reason. Um, Permanently, the people that stay there, like expats that stay there for a lifetime, I think they, they kind of want to slow things down. Um, I think the, the United States is mostly a kind of a hustle and bustle, high-paced lifestyle. And I think people come to countries like Argentina and Belize um, to kind of slow things down. Yeah. Speaking of people going to places to slow things down, there's like a 23-year-old, which is your sister. I don't know if she's 21 or 22, right, but she's right, in her right. early 20s. Right. And Cassidy. she left... Um, America to go to St. Croix. What right. are your thoughts on that? that? That is what we call a quarter life crisis. <laughs> it's not a midlife. <laughs> it's quarter life. What do you mean? <laughs> you think she was going through something so early? That's what you call a quarter life crisis. <laughs> it's, uh, um, I guess, kind I don't know. I don't know. You wouldn't do something like that? For the right reasons, um, I would definitely leave the country for the right reasons, yeah. Well, you know how morning matters work. I'm sure you know how morning matters work. Sure. Let's get into Let's some... Let's see it. Oh, we first have to ask you, are you in a relationship? I am, with how a long? wonderful young lady. About uh, eight and a half, about coming up on nine years. Oh. Well, yeah. This song's interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, congratulations. Hi, Monica. <laughs> yeah. What's the next move? Uh, what do you mean? With Monica. Obviously, her name is Monica. Monica. <laughs> What's the next move? It's been nine years. No entiendo. <laughs> no entiendo. <laughs> Monica will see this. Let me get into the real matters now. It says I live with my man for 10 years and he has three children. And all he does is cheat on me in my own home. And he 
chases me around and he beats me. Whoa. I love him still. What am I to do? I, I think if, if you put up with that, I if somebody else doesn't respect you like that, first and foremost, you need to respect yourself. So I would obviously, that's a bad situation, and I think I would extract myself from that. And definitely you need to leave the house if somebody's being physically assaulted with you. But Keaton, I think that people teach people how to treat them. I, I think agree. if she's with, well, you might need to put yourself. To an extent, yeah, to an extent. But if she has three children with him, this is not the first time that he's beat her. I can't imagine that he just woke up one day and started well, beating her yesterday. He must have been roughing her up nine years ago. Yeah, that's, that's especially worse. I mean, something in a physically abusive situation, I think you need to extract yourself and especially your children from that situation. Like you said, it's, you it's, need... It's not a safe situation for you or your children. You need to set good rules for your children. You need to set good examples for your children. You need to... Respect yourself, like Keaton says, because if you don't respect yourself, nobody will respect you. You know, you Completely have to agree. ask somebody to respect Preach, you. You sister. have to make them respect you. And you make them respect you by the way you live. You know, I mean, the average person will only do what they can get away with. Isn't that right, Keaton? It's correct, though. Morning. I love my husband. I fell in love with him because he is kind, caring, and sweet. But now, that same kindness and generosity is making us quarrel every day. Several times for the day, his family members come wanting money, food, baby supplies, and to borrow our vehicle. These are grown adults with children who don't want to work. When I try to put a stop to it, they complain. Was there a question with that? Yeah, she wants to know what to do. She is feeling that her kind, that the kindness of her husband is being abused by his family. I see, I see. So she, she appreciates her husband for being so kind, but her husband's family is taking advantage of how kind he is. And it's destroying the relationship with him and her. Well, obviously, they need to talk about that together, right? I mean, uh, that's what a marriage... They're married, correct? Yes, they're married. A marriage is a partnership. So you can't do anything unilaterally. you got to talk to your spouse about that, right? And your spouse probably should have spoken to you about that before he started letting these people into his personal space. And, and I think it's appreciative of both parties to talk to each other about any financial issues. Um, I don't think doing anything, like I said, unilaterally on your own without talking to the other partner is a very good idea. I think they need to agree on a budget or agree on what to do financially. Um, Obviously, family, yeah, you help them out. And when you get married, your spouse's family becomes your family. So you can't be too upset about giving money to your family. But at the same time, it's, it's for assistance. It's not so that they can rely on you to support. You're not supporting another family. It's to help them out in a time of need, it not constantly every week. So, so if you've already started helping them out, I would eventually... They need to Tell be them it's enough. There, there's got to be a deadline. There's got to be a, an amount that you say no, no mas. Keaton, we talk a lot here about relationships, but how difficult is it to be in a committed relationship? I mean, for people in your age. I mean, you are here. Monica is in some place else. How difficult or easy is it for somebody your age to be committed? Um, I don't think it's difficult at all, actually. Um, Compared to, I mean, years ago, I think. I mean, so, you know, five years ago, I studied abroad a semester in Spain, and we used to Skype to stay in touch, and that was just occasionally at my apartment. Nowadays, we have FaceTime on an iPhone. I can literally FaceTime Monica. You know, I could FaceTime her on this boat, probably, if I wanted. Um, and so I, I think with technology coming along, it's a lot easier to stay in long-distance relationships. Let's do one more matter before we let you one go. One more matter. I have three kids with this man and we've been together for five years and now I have someone else and he does not want to leave me alone. I think she started to cheat. Wait, can you say like he has three kids? She has three kids with this person. They've been together five years and now she has someone else and he doesn't want to leave her alone. Oh. <clears throat> three kids in five years is a speed. Let me get that out of the way first. Three kids in five years, you really didn't take much time to get to know this man or yourself. You got, you got in there and you got to work quickly. When you're moving in that kind of relationship, you should have been married first because there had to have been some real so commitment. You, so we're assuming they're not married. Because she didn't say it's my husband. Oh, yeah. She said, I'm with this man. Oh, yeah. 
right? So I'd say when you get in a relationship, the first thing you have to do is define your boundaries. You have to figure out what you want from it, and the time frame has to be something that you can work with. Sure. Right? And if those right. things don't exist, then you shouldn't commit to it. And first, and better than that, you shouldn't have children in it. Because now what are you going to do with these three children? In five years, you had three children and now you're moved on to another man. You didn't say in any way that he abused you, the times were tough, nothing. You moved on because you fell in love again. I think the constant problem here is you. You need to examine yourself. Keaton? Yes, Rhonda? <laughs> Keaton? I'll have to thank you for stopping in with me this morning. All right, thank you very much for having me. Anything you'd like to say before we go? Um, no, I think I'm happy. Bye. <laughs> Whichever suits you better, Grace Coconut Milk is your best choice for taste. Good as homemade, only more convenient. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Whether it's your life you're trying to sweeten or someone else's, make it Moho Chocolate. At Moho Chocolate, we produce the finest quality chocolate. All the cocoa used by Moho Chocolate is sourced from over 120 farmers from southern Belize. We produce chocolate bars, chocolate truffles, mini chocolate squares in several flavors, and organic cocoa powder. We also have gift baskets. The next time you eat chocolate, make sure it's Moho Chocolate. Visit us at any of our three locations in Tourism Village in Belize City, in San Pedro, or in the Departure Lounge at the International Airport. When you think chocolate, think Moho Chocolate. Build your future with Belize's leading development finance institution, DFC. We finance development projects in sectors of education, housing, agriculture and agro-processing, manufacturing, tourism, small and micro-enterprise, and much more all at affordable interest rates and flexible repayment terms. We also offer free in-house property valuations, free sound financial and technical guidance for projects, affordable building and life insurance coverage under DFC's group insurance scheme and more. So what are you waiting for? Take advantage of DFC's efficient delivery of loans and related services and get a step closer to building your future. Visit any of our nearest offices for additional information or call us at 822-2350 or 822-2360. DFC, Realizing Belizean Dreams, your partner in development. Marie Shop's Fine Foods. You've come a long way, lady. A true Belizean original for over 30 years. Winner of many prestigious awards, such as the Food and Beverage Food Award from the Anuga Food Show in Germany, the Fiery Food Show, and many others. From Belize to China and Japan, from Germany and the UK to the USA, you can choose with confidence your favorite Marie Shop's red and green hot habanero pepper sauces. How about our just juicy fruit juices? Marie Shop's jams, jellies, exotic tamarind based steak sauce. Belizean seasonal, green mango chutney, snacks, as well as our popular red and green pepper jellies. All mouth-watering, all delicious, all natural and free of sodium benzoate preservatives. And HACCP certified. Marie Sharp Fine Foods, proud products of Belize. <laughs> From the company who brought you Buendia freeze-dried coffee, Grace, 100% pure Colombian coffee is made in Colombia. Consider among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze-dried, Gris 100% pure Colombian coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with Gris. Recipes go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chilled cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. 
Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule, excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. That's why we created Lucas Fuel Saving Motor Oils. Their special additives increase compression and minimize friction, improving fuel mileage. With Lucas, you'll keep from losing your shirt, or even worse. When you think of the largest selection of sporting goods, you must think of Midway Limited. Musical instruments, Midway Limited. The largest selection of guitar strings, Midway Limited. At Midway Limited, you get high quality soccer boots, footballs, basketballs, billiards, mixing boards, guitars, violins, drums, tennis rackets, fishing poles, and a wide assortment of electronics. Midway Limited is the authorized dealers for Martin & Company, JBL Speakers, and Roland Instruments in Belize. Midway Limited, it's your one-stop shop for electrical, musical, and sporting equipment. Visit Midway Limited on Center Road in Spanish Lookout or give us a call at 823-0095. nice lady um, stopped in that's been married for 30 something years and now we have Drew. Drew, good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm doing well. This is a nice little trip. You, I don't think you explained very well. You know why? You said you're going from Buenos Aires to Uruguay. But Guess why? Because I knew that you would come in in the last segment and explain for us. So, what's okay. the deal? They don't know if they're looking out at clouds. Oh, here comes another ship that'll give a good clue. Okay. We are taking the ferry from Buenos Aires to Colonia. Uruguay. All right. Why did you choose and that? Why did you well, choose that? Well, you kept tugging at me because marijuana is legal <laughs> in Uruguay. And you kept saying, I want to go to Uruguay. I want to go to Uruguay. And now I know why. It's because marijuana is legal. 
Uh, let me break so it. I expect there to be a bunch of people out smoking weed when we get there. I don't well, know. Well, if they are, we're going to take a picture you of it. You wanted to come. Um, I really just wanted to come because it was this close, and I figure for this far away from home, might as well we see what's Might as, as well as we get more see. than one country. There you go. Um, how has your experience been so far in Argentina? It's been lovely. I enjoy it. For somebody that has not been here yet so far, what would you say the greatest thing is that you've done? Besides eating the steak. Oh, the steak was good. The meat is good. And I really haven't done a lot yet. Wait, wait till we get around a little more. Wait till we get around a little more. We haven't, we've just been easing our way through the city and uh, now maybe we can see the ship here in the back. We are on water, we aren't up in the clouds. So, any matters of your own? No, no, Think not since yesterday, it. no. Not since yesterday? <laughs> Nothing since yesterday. Well, I'm, are you ready? What, what do you anticipate doing in Uruguay? I'm not sure yet, but whatever it is, whatever there is to do, I will do if it is legal. But I heard that there are no rules, so. I, can pretty much I hear they have things. little go karts we can drive around. We can drive around some cars. We'll see what we get to, what we run into when we're there. So we will. Um, you'll be a part of whatever it is that we do. Oh, so. No, I'll be the guy behind the camera. You ready for some matters, sir? For the next few days, please email your matters to us. It's the most efficient way for us to get your matters in. Morning. I have my boyfriend and we've been going out for seven years, living together for two years. I asked him if he would marry me. He told me when I am 30, what should I do? Wait till you're 30. <laughs> what? If you can't wait until you're 30, then maybe you need to get out of the relationship. I'm but if you've been with him for seven years and he says 30, I mean, what's another year or two? I can't imagine that you got with him. How old is she now? Well, 20? She can't be 20. <laughs> They've been living together for two years, been together for seven years. So I would imagine she might be like 27. I I would want to know why 30. Maybe because he feels that that is a sensible age. He wants to see what she looks like when she's 30. He wants to make sure she doesn't gain weight. Drew, not everybody. Some people have depth. <laughs> I'm just pontificating. Okay, it's only for projection. I think he show. wants to see what she looks like at 30. I can't imagine her looking much different. Did they have children? I didn't notice. <sighs> yes. Uruguay. Did they have any visa requirements for Belizeans? No. Belizeans can come to Uruguay for nothing. You don't need anything. And actually, we were still in Buenos Aires. She stamped your card and says you are Welcome now in Uruguay. Uruguay. Yeah. So if you're thinking of coming here, you they didn't need say go over situation. there. We need more paperwork. Had they said that, it would have been fine too. You know why? Because I was in a place I liked. <laughs> I have a man who has three children with another woman. He's always at her house, and he comes back and stay and say she is asking him to come back home again. What am I to do? Ask him what he's gonna do. I would ask him for some time for yourself because if he has three children with a woman he feels a need to come home and say to you that when he goes over there she asks her to stay means that he's thinking about it in some shape form or fashion because if it was nothing he wouldn't even dignify it with a thought well is he spending time over there because he wants to be around her or because he wants to be around his children hopefully well, but he should go pick us up his children and go bring her into the family he shouldn't be spending time with the children in her home as if they are a couple. Because right. it gives her hope. She has three children for him. If he was being fair to himself, his children, and you, he would have brought those children to the home that he now has. Correct. Because he should be blending you into the family, not trying to keep the other family going. He's made that decision. And not only that, it gives the children false hope. Children like nothing That's more true. than to see both of their parents together. And if you are not interested in that relationship, you should not give your children false hope. Yeah, he needs to draw that line. And to go on to that a little bit more, I think when you do that kind of thing, you make the children resent the other woman. Because they see her as the reason that yeah. they're not together. True. Because when they're in the house and everybody's happy and now daddy has to go and see Mary Jane, that makes them think that she's the bad one. That's when in true. reality, she does not necessarily have to be the bad one. So those are things you have to think about when you're in those relationships to make sure that your children are in a peaceful, pleasant place and everybody's represented fairly. 
That's important for children to be represented. I see clearly. people are shopping on the ship. You will get enough time to shop right now, Drew. Okay? They I must have, have bargains. I can't. Of all the stores in Buenos Aires, and they come on this ship and they buy stuff on the ship. <laughs> Can we get uh, back to the we show? We had a big. We're going to edit this out later. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get back to the show? You seem so amused that people are shopping. Where are you from? Why would they <laughs> shop? It's. It's like an hour trip. Where are you from? There's a million stores in Buenos Aires, and they shop they on this ship. They didn't have time. <laughs> Good golly. <laughs> they don't pay any yeah, fees. This it's duty free. You don't know that. It said tax free. Makeup and alcohol. Maybe that's what they're buying. This one says, I am in love with my man, but I am in love with the next man. I no love the one that I live with, but he helped me out. Two of them helped me out. Put their name in a hat and You know, I think that's too many women have that mentality. If that is sad. If they help them out, they owe them something. Let me explain something to you, ladies. Not because first you have to straighten up your standards. That's first. That's essential. You have to have standards. Raise the bar. You have to define your standards, and first you have to you have to define your sta your standards. Once you have defined your standards, you will realize that not because a man give you a dollar, you owe him something. All right? Well, Not because he put a dollar in your pocket mean you owe him something. Well, well, unless you were selling yourself to him and you had a trade-off going there. It depends what was negotiated up front. Yes. But if you're in a relationship and you don't feel like being in a relationship and the man was kind to you, don't feel like you have to stay because he was kind to you because you were kind to him too. It's just not working out. Yeah. You, you, sh you should learn. You don't accept something just because Joe Blow gives you something off the street. You don't take it you just don't to take, take it, it either. Because that obligates you. So if you're not in love with the man, sit him down and say, you know, baby, you're a nice man, but you're not a nice man for me. Beautifully said. Talk done. Nice man, not a nice man for me. And that's okay. Because you're special. I am super special. <laughs> And all women should think that way. Yes, you have to value yourself because if you don't value yourself, nobody else will value you. Morning, this is a long one. Why don't you read this one? Oh, your excuse is I, I don't, don't have your spectacles. I don't have my spectacles. Morning, I am with this man for seven years and he's 56. And thinks that he is 20. He messes around with a lot. A young people. But a month ago, he calls me to let me come and catch him and one of his female and since then whenever he comes by he stays outside and I have to ask him to come inside and when he comes inside he wants me to baby him because he holds back sex from me wait wait don't go say nothing yet and now he wants to give it to me wait I have to read it the way it comes like he wants to fit himself inside the sex is better than it was before what do you guys think he's on a guilt trip or what i'm not that sure i understand any of that he's 56 and she caught him with another woman and yeah. he's holding back sex from her now my dear let me tell you something it's he's, he's holding it back because he caught her <laughs> i think she's been with him for seven years He's 56 and thinks that he's 20. He messes around a lot. She caught him cheating. And now he's withholding. And now he's withholding, my dear. Leave him alone. I think he doesn't really care that much for you. That's just my opinion. He wants to be free. Let him be free. You know, we're starting to list here a little bit. I'm getting a little woozy. I think we're going to dock here in a minute. I'm serious. If you're with a man that's... Obviously, he's much older than you. He's considerably Much, older much, than you. much, much older. If he's much older than you and you're not happy with him, let him go. Don't give away your youth. Don't give yeah, away your youth. Yeah, I would. If he's playing games like that at that age, you don't need anything to do with him. Why do you tolerate it? Get out. I mean, at 56, there's not much sex he can hold away from you, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well put. So true. Morning Matters has to wrap up because the end is because coming Because we're, we're almost docked in Uruguay. Actually, Anything? when they stamped it, they said we we're in Uruguay, but I'm not so sure we're there yet. Anything you'd like to say before we go? I would like to say I miss Belize. 
It's been an extraordinarily hot time in Argentina, and I'm looking forward to the coolness of the North Uruguay. Guys, until next time, I encourage you to take care of yourselves and each other. This is Ronda Crane along with Drew. Saying goodbye. Bye. <laughs>